There's a Fortnite item that was actually added to the game and then quickly removed after 30 minutes. And some Fortnite experts might know of this, but very few people know about what I'm going to share with you today. Today, I'm going over 15 of the most forgotten items in Fortnite history. And if you know all of these, let me know because I'll be seriously impressed. First, let's start with an easy item that was actually added this season. Did you guys know that we now have golden assault rifles? And I'm not talking about the scars. Epic decided to add golden and epic ARs in creative. And it's weird because the golden AR does the same damage as the gold scar, but it definitely feels a little bit different. I wonder if Epic has plans to eventually bring these to the actual BR and maybe replace the scar. Now that one is probably easy because it's fresh on your mind, but what about one of the most forgotten mythic items, the Spire Assassin Mythic? If you guys remember, there was a Spire Assassin boss in the middle of the map, and if you defeated her, she gave you a mythic primal shotgun, and she gave you her mythic boots, which were also forgettable. But later in the season, they actually changed up her loot, and they gave her the Spire Assassin Recycler, which was a mythic version of the Recycler. Now, we all remember the Recycler, including a lot of the insane memes that Nick A30 decided to do by sucking everybody up with the Recycler. But the reason why the Mythic was so forgotten is usually a Mythic is supposed to be a better version of the Legendary, but it had the same reload time and the same exact ammo. The only difference was it did three more damage. That's it. And because of that, it was extremely forgettable. Now, this one hasn't been in the game for 1,495 days, and that's the Chiller. The Chiller was one of the first traps added to the game, and it got vaulted in Chapter 1, Season 7. Now, if you played in Chapter 1, Season 6, you might remember this trap. You put it down, and it gave you the ice effect on your feet, but it wasn't that useful. I mean, you could try to use it to move around the map by, you know, building a downwards ramp and then sliding down it, but that was a really good way to fall to your death. And because of that, it got vaulted a season later and has never been seen in the game ever since. Another mythic that a lot of us have forgotten about came from Chapter 2, Season 2. It was one of the best seasons of Fortnite. We got the mythic and boss system. Landing at the agency was awesome. The grotto was there. And if you guys remember, there was the Deadpool yacht. But Deadpool wasn't there yet. Meowsles was actually on the yacht before he got kicked out to a different location. And if you eliminated him, he actually dropped the Meowsles Pow Pow assault rifle it was a mythic heavy assault rifle and this one was actually kind of useful it did 44 damage per hit it was more accurate than the heavy assault rifle and it had a quicker reload time as well but it paled in comparison to the sky scar the brutus minigun and the midas drum gun because of that it was quickly forgotten now a lot of you might have forgotten about this because it happened in season x and there was so much going on in season x with an insane loot pool the storm flip item this one was very interesting it was a item that you could throw and if you threw it inside the storm, it would actually create a safe bubble where you didn't take storm damage. But if you threw it in the safe zone, it would create a storm bubble and it would do the same amount of damage as the current storm tick. So if the storm was doing one damage per second in the beginning of the game, the storm flip would do one damage. Now pros were able to use this for a little bit in the end game and create safe zones, but this item didn't last long. It was quickly vaulted and never returned again. Now for one of the most forgotten exotic items in Fortnite, and it's not the unstable bow. This one was added in Chapter 2 Season 5 with a bunch of other exotics, the Nighthawk. It was basically a scoped pistol with a thermal attachment instead, and it wasn't that useful because the thermal attachment didn't really help you that much. I mean, you couldn't even see people in bushes using it. And the other exotics were just a little bit more enticing, like the Storm Scout Sniper and the exotic double barrel shotgun. So this one was overlooked and mostly forgotten. So this next one's going to get a lot of you guys because this item is actually in the game right now. Listen, I'm going to tell you the name of it. You got to be honest if you know what I'm talking about. The name of this item is the Trail Thrasher. What is the Trail Thrasher? I didn't know initially. That's actually the name for the dirt bikes. Like Fortnite is referring to them as Trail Thrasher. That's what they're called in the game. That's what they're called on socials. And this kind of makes sense because they do have plans to add more dirt bikes in the future, but everybody just calls these dirt bikes. Okay, so that one might be cheesy if it got you, but this next one is actually in the game and it's probably gonna get a lot of you as well. If you guys remember, everyone loved the OG revolvers. We had some amazing clips, especially the 1v4 clutch where Ninja wiped an entire squad using a revolver. And it was really good back in the day, but as items and players got better, it kind of fell off. Okay, so we have the tactical pistol and the shadow tracker. And if you want to count the machine pistol as well, 
but we actually also have revolvers and the only way to get them is to find a vending machine and it has a chance to offer you a revolver for sale next up we have a fortnite item where if you started playing in chapter three or four then you're probably not gonna know about these and that's the alien nanite item it was a throwable item that created some sort of zero gravity alien field and it was like a four by two cube now you might remember this item but you might not remember that it had a second use you could actually use this to craft a rapid fire smg into a chimera smg which was the alien smg now no one in their right mind would turn a rapid fire smg into a chimera smg and because of that this one's probably not going to be an item we tell our grandkids about now this one pains me because it was only in one tournament and was quickly removed from the game after that's right the cypher pk exotic trap tower obviously this was a huge deal for me and my community and it meant the world to me for epic to do this i mean they did so much for my icon release and there was so much going on i didn't even get the chance to make a video about the exotic cypher pk trap tower i saw all the clips though you guys had a great time but a lot of people forgot that i actually had an item in the game named after me and that was really cool but in a few years only the true cypher pk fans will remember this item now this next one might get a lot of you because it happened in chapter two season six and it has everything to do with the upgrades and crafting system they introduced if you guys don't remember there was a lot of different parts to craft weapons and one item was the stink sack and you got it by killing frogs which most of us did by accident and the stink sack could actually make two items you could combine it with meat to make a hunter's cloak which we covered in another forgotten items video but you could also combine it with a primal bow to make a stink bow but there was a lot of stink bows on the map anyways and this is probably one of the more forgotten items when it comes to crafting now these next two items a lot of people were talking about for a short period of time but then it kind of quickly faded and we're talking about hammers and swords and i'm not talking about the mythic sword or the hammer in the game epic actually added to creative these customizable swords and hammers and they have some really cool animations and effects and you can actually play with them in creative battle royale but not a lot of people do that Okay, so this next one is hard because it never actually made it to the game, but if this item came to the game, it could have changed the course of Fortnite history, and that is the Medic Pack item in Fortnite. This item was complete, it was in the game files, it was ready to launch in Chapter 1. It was a Medic Pack where if you got knocked and you had this item, you were able to find a safe place and self-revive. But without a doubt, if this was added in Chapter 1, it would have had such a huge impact on the game. Now, before the final forgotten item, I'm going to give you another hard one. I'll show you a picture of this item, and you have to name the item. Okay, so this one came out in Chapter 3, but it was pretty forgettable. Some experts would call this Little Whip Special Serve, which gave you 200 HP instantly. Basically, an instant chug jug. But no, that's actually a different item. This one is actually the Guzzling Ice Cream, which is a strange name and it's actually just a reskin of the guzzle juice and it's definitely an ice cream that no one remembers finally for the most forgettable most obscure item that was removed from the game in less than 30 minutes do you recognize this item now a lot of you probably know the story by now epic added a backpack in an update accidentally and then they quickly removed it and that's because they actually used the wrong graphics for that item that's right the item i showed you is actually supposed to be called the intel pack also known as the eye of the storm tracker it showed you the storm phases before it happened but it was removed from the game and this fortnite item was lost to obscurity and anybody who did find it thought it looked completely different and those are the 15 forgotten items how many items did you remember thank you guys for watching